Welcome to Module 5, Lesson 22. Let's get started. Today we will learn how to make equivalent fractions by using fraction models and the number line. We are learning this so that we can understand fractions as equal parts of a whole. We'll know that we're successful when we can use models to show equivalent fractions. Look at the fraction strips. Name fractions that are equivalent to one half. Answer. Fractions that are equivalent to one half. Two fourths, three sixths, and four eighths. Let's find other equivalent fractions. What fraction is equivalent to one-fourth? Three-fourths? One whole? Answer. One-fourth is equal to two halves. Three-fourths is equal to six-eighths. And one whole is equal to two halves, four fourths, six sixths, and eight eighths. We can say that two thirds equals four sixths. What do you notice about the numbers in these fractions? Do you notice that the top numbers are 2 and 4, and 2 is half of 4, the bottom numbers are 3 and 6, and 3 is half of 6? What is the next equivalent fraction if the bottom number is doubled to 12? Now we have 2 thirds is equal to 4 sixths is equal to an unknown number of twelfths. Do you know the answer? Let's look at the strip on the bottom. How many parts are shaded yellow? The next equivalent fraction is 8 twelfths because when you double the bottom number, you must also double the top number. Eight is double four, and 12 is double six. What is the fraction that represents the shaded area on each figure? Remember that the bottom number or the denominator is the total number of parts, and the top number, or numerator, is the number of parts that are shaded. So the fractions are 2 thirds for the top figure and 4 sixths for the bottom figure. Are the fractions equivalent? The fractions are equivalent because 2 is half of 4 and 3 is half of 6. Let's look at unit fractions. Here we have 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth, and 1 sixth. 1 seventh. 1 eighth, 1 ninth, and 1 tenth. Now it's time for the read, draw, write question. Let's read it together. Write a fraction that is equivalent to 2 fourths. Draw a model to show how you know that the fractions are equivalent. Explain your answer. 
you can go ahead and pause the video here. Do your very best.